Hey, welcome guys, Eric Roberts, Apex Piano. And today I'm talking about how learning piano doesn't have to be hard like the old school way. Now I just put up my new course, how to tune pianos the apex way and I already got piano tuners going oh you gotta be teaching by ear so these old timers they get me something to talk about they give me something to talk about on YouTube and something to help you understand there are different ways you know there's the many ways to skin a cat I mean there's different ways to do everything right but I have to talk to you just in this short video and tell you why it's not the only way you know tuning by ear that there is a better way and that's the way I do it and that's the way thousands of piano tuners do it and a lot of the young guys and I'm going to explain that so you can tune a piano by ear by going through your pitchfork you know your like little tune fork thing Ding! you like tune one note in the middle and then you go and you try to tune the uh, uh, what they call the temperament in the middle and then you spread that temperament all over the piano and you start in the middle and you tune out and and that's one way that piano tuners have been doing it way back from when pianos were ever made okay Th these guys have been doing this forever uh, and then in the 50s or so they came out with this uh, tuning device and they started saying they could tune with the computer and the piano tuners of the day said you can't do it they told they told dr. Sanderson nope cannot be done you only can do it by ear Okay, and he said, watch me. He's a Harvard mathematician, and he comes out, and music is math, and math is music, and so he comes out with this brilliant device and starts teaching people how to use this. So the Sanderson AccuTuner, uh, it's now, I, I was gonna bring it up in this video, but you can see it in my other videos. Um, people started using it, and now all these guys are using it. All the guys are pros are using it. Now there are holdouts, and there are piano tuners who are gonna say, you can't tune a piano with this thing. It's better to tune it by ear. Okay, here's why I believe you should, if you're just starting out learning pianos, here are the benefits to doing ETD tuning, which is electronic tuning device tuning. Number one, it takes forever to get good tuning by ear with the temperament. Okay, so if you got your tuning fork, and dee, 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 and you, uh, you got that, then it takes forever. Okay, so I'm getting some private messages coming in from you guys. I'm doing this, this video live, and uh, so I'm gonna answer this here. Uh, it takes forever to learn. Okay, so I don't want to get off track, but it takes a long time to get good. Even those who are really, really good, uh, maybe they're not as accurate as the tuner. Okay, I'm going to get to that at the end of this video. It's slower and it's less accurate and it relies on your ear day to day. So uh, it's like when I play guitar, I played guitar my whole life and I tune my guitar from, you know, ear and it's pretty good, but when you give it, and you can tune it, I can tune a guitar pretty good by ear. I'll get six strings. Okay, but I still want to go into the studio. When these guys are in the studio, they're using tuning devices because they're just very accurate. They can hear way, way down, like where we can't hear. Okay, it's more taxing. It's more taxing to sit there and try to tune the whole piano by ear. It takes longer, it's more taxing, and the older techs complain that the younger techs are like, oh, these guys are tuning, they're making more money than me. They're complaining because they're making less money and it's taking them more time because it's uh, harder and longer to do. Okay, so you go into the t person's house and take an hour and a half instead of maybe taking only 45 minutes. Okay, so the computer knocks out all of that guessing and all of that ear fatigue that you get by tuning only by ear. Okay, uh, it's, it's less consistent. Okay, so I'm not saying that you should never learn to tune by ear or you should never learn to tune by um, a temperament and I'm not saying that you should ever do it and that I'm not I'm also not even saying that there aren't some guys who can really tune pretty good by ear I mean they've been doing it for a hundred years whatever you know they could some people can do this and it could sound pretty good but I'm gonna tell you that there is a better way there's an easier way there's a faster way to learn and launch your career so if you're thinking I want to get good at tuning pianos and start making money and tune the piano you're gonna go with this method if you want to be you want to do it the easy way if you want the easy roadmap go with the Sanderson AccuTuner, the Tune Lab app, one of those apps that will guide you in the temperament. It will make the tunings very good. Then all you have to learn is how to really tune with the tuning hammer and the techniques. And I teach you all that in my course. Why I'm fully convinced, and nobody's ever gonna tell me otherwise. All these guys can say in the forums, they, can, they basically shame you. They electronic tuning device shame you. Like, oh, you're using an ETD, that's shameful. You know, well, they're not making as much money and they're not as fast and they're not as accurate. And I'm convinced of this because my mentor, after 20 years, 20 some years of tuning, after 20 some years of tuning, he, he was working in the store with another tuner, his same age. 
and he kept going like, man, his tuning sound really good. Like, like he's and, and my mentor is a really good tuner. And he was listening to this other guy's tuner. He's like, what are you doing? How are you getting it? And he'd go play him. And he's a piano player too. So he's a piano player and a piano tuner. So he's not just a piano tuner. Some of those piano tuners that don't play, um, they just you know they just think it's all technical and it's all this specific stuff. He knew what it sounded like when it was when he played it and it was really good. And he goes to the guy and he goes, man, what are you doing? Why, why are your tunings like really solid all the time? Really, really clean and the, all the chords are perfectly matched and everything's really good. And he's like, well, I'm using this Anderson AccuTuner. So my tuner, my tuning mentor after 20 years decided, you know what? Well, I'm gonna, if he's doing this like this and it's sounding that good, why am I struggling to tune these by ear all these years and, and, and fr freaking out my ears? Why don't I just get an AccuTuner? And he did and it is history. So. Yeah, sure, when I was learning, I was thinking, oh, it'd be really cool to tune by ear and really learn the temperament and be able to do all this artistic stuff. But I'm talking about how to tune a piano really solid every time, day after day, from the very small spinet to the very large grand piano. Um, so that, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm also messaging some people. And look, so you can learn how I do this in my exact method. Okay, you can ask me any question in the comments. Put your comments down here. Ask me any questions in the comments. You can also learn this exact method in the Apex Piano Tuning uh, course that I have, the Apex Way. It's right down in the link is in the description. So, hear what I'm saying. It's faster, it's easier, it's more accurate. And the final thing I'll tell you, I have clients call me all the time in my regular piano tuning company and they say, do you tune by ear? Because I don't want somebody tuning by ear. These are musicians, these are studios, these are people who know what they're talking about because they've been burned by the ear tuners. The guys that say, I can do it better with, the, with my ear. I'm not going to do that computer stuff. I'm not going to use that modern 21st century tuner. And so they say, I don't want to have a piano tuner coming into my house and trying to do this by ear. I want them to use the most, uh, the, the most cutting edge material tools that they can do and that's what I want to pay for. That's the piano tuner I want. So, most people are going to ask for that in your in your in your business. So, you want to start a business fast, you want to be good fast within a couple months. I was talking to my mentor a couple years ago and he said, "You know, in a couple months you can learn to tune the piano. You can learn just just learn the techniques with the AccuTuner and you can pretty much tune the piano. I mean, the AccuTuner does all the really hard math. It does all the really hard uh, stretch. It does all the really hard listening and you still have to use your ear. You still have to be a good tuner. You still have to use your tuning hammer right. You still have to understand tensioning and tuning everything that I teach in my course. You still have to understand how to tension and tune the piano and how to pitch raise the piano. There's a lot of stuff you have to know. So why muddy the waters and put yourself at a disadvantage by going along with tuning just by ear. Now there are other courses on the internet. I'm telling you, there are courses out there. I'm not going to name them by name. And people will take these courses and they'll spend six months and then they'll go, I still can't tune a piano. Well, I know exactly why. And that is what the Apex Piano Tuning Way course fixes. I teach you the real way to tune a piano with the real roadmap, with the real guidance. Now. There are other people who can talk about teaching you to tune pianos and tuning by ear and teaching by ear, and that's all fine if that's what you want to do. I'm not really against doing that, but if you want to start a business, if you want to be a really solid, super good tuner, and be able to offer your services to studios, homes, churches, consistently every week, go out there, tune as many pianos as possible, and take home the cash, then that's the apex way. That's what it's about. You know, if you want to if you want to do this as an art and a craft, and just thinking about sitting around tuning by ear and having your friends listen and talk about how good or how good it isn't, that is more like what you would do if you uh, join you know these piano tuner groups or go to these online ear training um, courses where they're just you're just trying to get really good at tuning by ear. So that's fine. I think that there is a great art to it. So that is part of it. But the apex way is about being successful in business, being able to show up at a stage, at a concert, with any level, and they say, I want this piano to be amazing, I got a concert in an hour, and you can knock it out and you can make it sound good. That's what we do at Apex every day. That's what we go into these houses. Imagine if you're tuning by ear and it's taking you longer and it's taxing your ears or you have a cold, you can't hear, it, whatever, you go into a noisy environment, these piano tuning devices go past all of that. They do it all for you. So check it out, go to the Apex, Piano.com. Check out the Apex Piano by uh, Tuning course that I just put out, and it will show you how to tune pianos very quick, get very proficient, very fast at tuning pianos. And then the next couple years, as you're growing and getting better, you're just going to get better, better, better. You're going to start out pretty good because the roadmap and the tools that you have are the right tools. All right, God bless you guys. 
I'll see you in there. If you want to join the course, let me know. Check the link in the description for the course. All right, peace out.